It's about 6.20 right now on October, I couldn't tell you. I think it's the 7th. But I'm coming out here to state land for a spot that I used to hunt with my dad when I was a kid. There's usually bucks here in the morning, so hoping everything goes well. Hunting with the recurve again today. Um, just hoping everything goes well. I love hunting with the recurve. If you guys have not tried it yet, it's a whole new ball game. It brought back the rush for me, and it's really nice. So, if you guys get the chance, honestly try it. It's a blast. But uh, I'm gonna get ready. I'm running a little late. I don't have my phone. My phone's busted, so I can't tell you what time it is, the date, or anything like that. So we're just gonna go by camera light, and whenever I get tired of hunting, so I'm gonna hurry up, get out there. Hopefully everything goes well and we can have a buck in the back of the truck by the end of the day. So, stay tuned. Let's see what happens. Completely forgot it's the opening day of duck season. Being on public land, Michigan, especially this area, the guns are just a-blazing. So hopefully deer get pushed. like 81 degrees yesterday. It's supposed to be a high of about 55, 56 today. Good cool down. Hopefully the guns got them pushing, but I'm gonna start grunting and see what happens.
just sitting there at eight yards, just as a freaking buck. Only thing she had to do was to take her right. If she would have went to the right, I would have had her right here. Jeez. Oh, that's all she had to do was take her right. The buck wouldn't go left around this tree. It still comes right at me and goes to the left. That's all I want him to do. Is just if she would have just followed this path, I would have had her right here, eight yards. <sighs> like, I understand I'm sitting out in the open. I've got no problem with that. But I'm hiding behind the tree that they they come right directly to me. Only thing they gotta do is just follow the same path they're going, and they're not. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Like I said, the, the only thing she had to do was just follow, follow the one path. That's it. Just. Oh. She was a good sized doe too. Pretty, pretty, pretty good sized doe. Good doe for uh, private, uh, public, uh, public land. Very good doe for public land, especially in this area. We got a lot of smaller yearling deer. She was, she was a bigger doe. So I don't know what to do. All I needed him to do was just take, just go one path. Oh my gosh. If she, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. The only thing I can think of is to start sitting about 20, 30 feet up in the tree and calling it good, but I don't want to bring climbing sticks out every, every day. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I've been hunting this exact same public land spot. I used to hunt actually about 100 yards over there with my dad when I was a kid. You know, he, he got six, seven, eight years ago. I used to hunt over there. Always good deer hunting. But now that I switched over to the recurve, it's a little bit tougher. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna have to do. I can't. I can't buy a deer right now to save my life. I. I, I don't know what to do. I guess I'll give it a little bit more time, and we'll see what happens. Best bet I'll be back here tomorrow morning, though. You can guarantee that one. So, it's the uh, morning of October 30th, heading out here to public land. Just trying to get this tag filled before rut and stuff really fully, fully kicks in. And, uh, yeah, so we're just going to see what happens. It's supposed to be about 50 degrees today supposed to rain in the, the like this entire morning and I got about 50% chance of rain but it's not going to be nothing for rain so I'm hunting them coming from the bedding area hopefully moving towards food source stuff like that so they've been bedding behind where I got the stand so I'm hoping they walk through but we'll see what happens we'll get out there I haven't hunted a morning in so long and it's a little early for me so We'll get out there and get sat down, get comfy, and let's see what happens this morning.
one thing I wanted as a goal, and that's to, I've never shot a deer on public land. I'm hunting with the recurve, because I've always wanted a big spike, always. And uh, that's what he, he looks like a big spike. He came in, shoot, he was here at eight yards. I'm sitting here, I'm playing on my phone, I look up randomly and here he is at 20 yards. Oh, I'm so pumped. Put a beautiful shot on him right here. Like I said, he was about eight yards. Right now he's laying dead at about 20. Let's see. Oh, I'm so excited right now. That is that is my smallest buck I've ever shot, but I shot him with the recurve. <laughs> I'm just so excited right now. Got more meat for the freezer. <sighs> I'm pumped. I'm excited right now. I'm gonna climb down. And I'm gonna climb down. Uh, I'm gonna go back to the truck, put everything back, and I'm gonna go up to him. Oh, I'm so pumped right now. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm gonna go back to the truck. Like I said, I'm gonna go back to the truck, get the stuff, come back. I don't know, maybe I'll just go grab him. <laughs> I'm so excited right now. So that's where I was sitting and I shot him. He was sitting right here. I got blood here pretty good, but take a couple more steps forward. Got a dead deer. He ran 25 yards. Walk up to him. Oh. oh, how excited am I? <laughs> All right. Ooh, he might count as a three point. A little kicker right there. Let me get the camera set up and get this going. I am just so excited. You know, I come out and uh, I hunt all the time and um, I ended up switching over to the recurve. I've always shot recurve for the past couple of years and I wanted to shoot self stuff with the recurve. Well, I've shot two deer. This is deer number three out here on public land. My first deer on public land. I just, this buck means a lot to me. I've been hunting these woods with my dad since I was 14, I think we started. And uh, 22 now, so eight years. So I haven't shot nothing out here. I just, I don't know what to say. <laughs> Pretty good shot on him. Came out high here, right behind the shoulder. Came out down here. Probably double lunged him, but I'm just, I'm just so thankful. This is gonna feed my family. It's gonna feed others' families. 